I mean, in, interestingly enough, one of the things he had to cut out was a reference to the, the Jack the Ripper murders, because though Dracula was published in the 1890s, um, the Ripper murders were only in the you know, 1888. And so there was a reference to the Ripper murders, which his publisher said, no, it, it's too too close to what really happened. And so, yeah, and cause in the original version, Bram claimed that some of the events of that novel really took place, and the publisher said, no, we, we've got to cut that out because that's going to horrify people too much. So that, that all went. I mean, interestingly enough, um, as he, it mentions the, the Ripper murders, as I said, yeah, uh, there is another Jack the Ripper connection uh, to Dracula and Bram Stoker, which I'd, I'd love to tell you about. Perhaps, uh, as Michael Caine would say, not a lot of people know that. Yeah, I know. When you first mentioned that to me as well, John, I, as you know, I, uh, I leaned in and I thought, all right, I need to hear about this because I had no idea what's what's the connection with Jack the Ripper and Dracula. Well, Bram Stoker, as you as you mentioned, he was the the manager of the Lyceum Theatre. He one of his friends was uh, Hall Kane who was a dramatist, a writer, who was a homosexual, and he had an affair with a chap called Francis Tumblety, who is a very, very strong Jack the Ripper suspect. And actually, we're going to be doing a documentary about that in due course. I've written some material for it already. But he was actually, Tumblety was arrested um, on suspicion of being Jack the Ripper, and he jumped bail and fled back to America. Now, Scotland Yard took it so seriously that they actually sent someone to shadow him, but they could never prove enough to sort of, you know, get him extradited to bring him back. But he was a, a suspect and he'd been arrested as a suspect. But um, Tumblety actually needs to go, it's believed he needs to attend the Beef State Club, which Bram Stoker uh, attended. Uh, so there's a possibility that Bram Stoker met uh, a man that could have been Jack the Ripper. So there you go. Can't prove it, but it's, it's, it's probable that they, they actually met. So, yes, there is a connection between Bram Stoker and one of the leading suspects uh, you know, in, the, in the Ripper murders. Well, and well, he was certainly, very, certainly very friendly with Hall Kane, you know, who was Tumblety's lover. So, um, But that's as far as we can take it. You know, we don't have any writing from Bram saying, oh, yeah, I knew Tumblety and things like that. It was here to say that he met him and didn't like him, you know, he, didn't like his character and that, but again, there's no documentary proof for that. Um, perhaps it's out there, but we haven't found it as yet. But yeah, but it's just fascinating that you know there is a connection with Dracula and, and Jack the Ripper. And let's face it, I mean, I, I I mentioned it in the narration. You know, the Ripper murders clearly partly inspired Dracula, Jack Dracula, because of um you know the horrific nature of what happened. You know, these women were literally torn apart you know the throats were cut and that so it definitely played a part in the creation of that 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 character yeah yeah and the elusiveness of dracula with within the films and essentially drawing the women out of their homes and you know no 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 trace in sight of, of what actually happened to them and then yeah. puncture and then all the wonderful side effects i guess afterwards but yeah. um yeah and i mean you know bram was such a brilliant person by all, all accounts too that he He'd have a hard time thinking that he couldn't meet a person like that and, you know, suspected that maybe he didn't like this person, that you wonder if he had his own suspicions and was putting two and two together and maybe that's why he wanted to put that into his novel that they, you know, ultimately had cut out of the original manuscript. Yeah, 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 could well be, could well be. I mean, um, you know, people who met Tumblety said that, you know, he was a very strange character. He used to collect wounds for a star. He hated women. Um, you know, hated prostitutes. Um, so yeah, he, he he was a very very strange character, and um, you know, very strong evidence um, linking him to other murders as well in America. He always seemed to be around where women were killed, so he was either very unlucky, it was more than coincidence. So I mean, we can't definitely say he was Jack the Ripper, but let's say um, there's tons of suspects out there, as we know, but. He would definitely be in the top ten. He's a very strong suspect, and a, a, a Scotland Yard inspector, a little child, actually believed he was Jack the Ripper. So, um, but we'll never know for certain. But yeah, it's it's an interesting uh, subject, the Ripper in itself. And of course, later writers brought Jack the Ripper and Dracula together. So, I mean, comics and books and that. So those characters sure. have been linked in fiction anyway. So, um. It, and of course, Jack the Ripper has become a legendary figure in his own right. You know, it's um, the black bag, the the cape, the top hat, 
the cane, you know, disappearing into the fog and so yeah, so he's um, he's almost become like Dracula. You know, a lot of people actually think he didn't even exist, Jack the Ripper. They they forget he was a he was a real murderer. You know, the the myth and the image is taken over from the the real man, whoever he was.